The United Nations says over the past 10 days in Syria, at least 80 people have been killed and more than 150,000 displaced from southern Idlib. With more than a dozen of the UN's partner agencies cancelling humanitarian operations in the area, people have started their own relief efforts. From Syria, Obey the Hitto reports. A roof over your head and a warm meal to eat. Two things many may take for granted. For Mohammed Khalid, watching his countrymen flee for their lives to Anadan in western Aleppo was a call to action. We started a local initiative of our own. We are collecting money to help our displaced brothers and sisters. And we are preparing houses for them with the help of local councils and the white helmets. People are donating money because there are no charities to help. Those who've escaped say the regime is targeting civilian areas to cause fear and force them to leave. We barely escaped death to reach Anadan. They're treating us like family here. The local council has helped a lot by giving us food, shelter and blankets. But not all those fleeing the regime attacks on southern Idlib have been so lucky. We're at the Deir Balut Atmet checkpoint, which connects Idlib province to Afrin. Many of the families who have been displaced from Idlib have been camped out under the trees for days. But now, they're packing their things and headed into Turkey-backed opposition-controlled territories in search of food, shelter and safety. We have been living under the trees for three days around Atme. You can't sleep or do anything. It's cold at night and it's impossible to live there. So we talked to friends in Afrin and we are headed there. As regime attacks on southern Idlib and Hama continue, new waves of displaced people are expected in the coming days. And the help they receive will likely determine where they'll seek shelter next. Obeida Hito, Jinderiz Syria, TRT World.